Hello and welcome again to another edition of Sports Update Ghana and coming up in this edition Ghanaian attacking midfielder Mohamed Kudus was on target for Ajax Amsterdam in their game against Liverpool well he wasn't the only Ghanaian player who was able to get a goal in the UEFA Champions League action on Tuesday night well Kamal Sowa who also plays for Club Bruges was also on the score sheet for his club Club Bruges as they defeated Porto by 4 goals to 0. We also have updates on Callum Hudson Odui who was also in action for his club Bayern Leverkusen as they defeated Athletic uh, Madrid over there in the UEFA Champions League. We also have updates on Patao Isaku as his club that is Porto were able to stand that is Tottenham Hotspur in the UEFA Champions League. All this and more coming up here on Sports Update Ghana. Please do subscribe like share and don't forget to leave a comment so so quickly let's get into the details so Ghanaian attacking midfielder Mohamed Kudus was in action for Ajax Amsterdam in their 2-1 defeat to Liverpool at the Anfield in England well Ajax Amsterdam were playing at away against Liverpool in the UEFA Champions League and it was Liverpool who got their noses in front through Egyptian attacker that is Mohamed Salah who scored the opener in the 17th minute. Well, 10 minutes later in the 27th minute, Mohamed Kudu scored a brilliant goal to restore parity in the game as he got a pass from his teammate and well, he moved to the other side in the 18 yard box and shot into the roof without Alisson being able to get hold of the ball. In fact, the Brazilian goalkeeper was standing there watching the ball as Mohamed Kudus shot the ball into the roof to get the equalizer for Ajax Amsterdam. It was a brilliant goal. Unfortunately, I can't bring you the video here. You have to go to Ajax Amsterdam page or better still go to um, Ajax versus Liverpool and you get the highlights over there. I'm just trying to elaborate what you, uh, we watch in that match. But well, Mohamed Kudus has been in standing form for Ajax Amsterdam this season and well in the past seven days we collecting from um, last week Wednesday to now that is Tuesday Mohamed Kudus has scored four goals so far last week he scored a goal against Rangers in the UEFA Champions League over the weekend he scored two goals for Ajax Amsterdam and just today in the UEFA Champions League on Tuesday Mohamed Kudus has scored another goal for Ajax that is four goals in three games and what can we ask for more well Mohamed Kudus is doing so well so Mohamed Kudus was in action for 85 minutes and the game stood at 1-1 till he was substituted and Brian Broby who happens to be a Dutch player of Ghanaian descent he came on and two minutes or three minutes later that is in the 88th minute Liverpool were able to get the winner through their player Joe Matip who got a header straight into the uh, goal post. Unfortunately, um, Ajax who held on to their lead were unable to keep their tabs on for the last minute of the game and well Liverpool ended up still in their first three months in the UEFA Champions League after losing shamefully to Napoli last week but the good news is that Mohamed Kudus was in action and was able to get a goal let's check out the statistics in the game as uh, Ajax lost by two goals to one to Liverpool so Mohamed Kudus was rated 7.2 for the most part of the game after he scored the goal I would say um, the, uh, the midfield of Ajax Amsterdam was let loose with um, Liverpool controlling the rest of the game. So Mohamed Kudus made uh, 86 minutes of action in the game. He got one goal, one shot on target. He made five dribbling attempts and had three success. So he had 29 touches on the ball. He had 67 passing accuracy and well, he had three long balls. His aerial duels were 13, which of which he won six and well, with the aerial duels he did so well. He got four and well, was able to uh, get two, uh, two successful so with possession loss he lost the possession on 12 different occasions and was fouled uh, two times and committed four fouls in the game and was caught offside just once in the game and made one clearance for his side and one tackle as well as he dribbled past one player so that is how Ghanaian player Mohamed Kudus performed 
in Ajax Amsterdam's game against Liverpool. But let's move on and talk about another Ghanaian player who was also on target for his club. I'm talking about none other than Kamal Sowa. Yes, the player who is here to play for the Black Stars was on target for his club, Club Bruges, as they defeated Porto by four goals to zero. And guess what? It was an away fixture, and in Portugal, that is where the club from Belgium, Club Bruges, defeated Porto by four goals to zero. Kamal Sowa scored the second goal in the game, and it was a brilliant goal. Amase was able to take out a, a loose ball in the 18 yard balls and went past the goalkeeper and placed the ball into the net. You can go and check out the highlights of that particular video. I do want to leave the uh, highlights of all the videos I'm talking about in the description section so that you don't have to go and be searching and searching. So, Kamal Sowa over there scoring a goal for his club in the game against Porto. He wasn't the only Ghanaian who was in action for. Club Bruges, well, Dennis Odui, who is the professor of the Black Stars, was also in action for Club Bruges in the game against Porto. Dennis Odui is a right back, and well, if you've not seen him yet, I think you guys have to go and see him, or probably you've forgotten about Dennis Odui. He was in action for the Black Stars in their World Cup uh, playoffs against nigeria so let's move on and do some more and to the game involving athletic madrid our atletico madrid versus Bayern leverkusen well we had two players of Ghanaian descent who were in action i'm talking about jeremy frimpong and callum hudson all the way they were in action for Bayern leverkusen Bayern leverkusen won the game by two goes to zero and well Ghanaian player english uh dash player of Ghanaian descent that is Jeremy Frimpong was able to get two assists in all those two goals that were scored by Bayern Leverkusen. And guess what? He came on as a substitute after one of Bayern Leverkusen's defenders got injured in the game. And that was how Jeremy Frimpong was able to get the two assists in the game. For Callum Hudson, all the way, he did his best in the game but had to be substituted in the latter minute of the game. But, well, before we go, um, Pataway Sarko's club that is Sporting Lisbon were able to surprise English Premier League side Tottenham as they defeated them by two goals to zero in the UEFA Champions League that was played around 4 pm. Unfortunately for Pataway Sarko, he is yet to make a debut in the UEFA Champions League as he has been left on the bench in the last two games. But well, we can only wish him the best as we expect him to make his debut for Sporting Lisbon in the UEFA Champions League. So that is your sports here on Sports Update Ghana. Please do subscribe, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment.